What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a simple but very powerful trading system that you can use to trade any markets. And this system is called the break and retest strategy, right? It's very simple, it's based on horizontal support and resistances and basically what you want to do is in an uptrend you want to identify a good resistance level just like this one right here and you want to wait for price to break above that level and you're then going to go long on the first rounded retest of that level like that. I've actually recorded a video on how to identify horizontal support and resistances so please check out that video and if you like the content like this one and want to see more profitable trading systems like this one please hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel. So what we're going to do right now is we I'm, I'm using the replay function here on TradingView and we're going to go through this step by step and I'm going to show you exactly what to look for and exactly how to trade this system. So first of all, you want to find a market that is in a trend. It doesn't really need to be in a trend, but the best and the the most of the time the most profitable trades are in trending markets and this strategy works very very well in trending markets of course you can look at low time frame trends inside ranges too and trade the break and retest of those but in the beginning i recommend you guys check out trending markets like bitcoin right here obviously in a high time frame uptrend and we kind of see how price hits this resistance right here obviously this might like if we get rejected here and stop moving downwards obviously this could be a reversal but according to the break and read the strategy we are going to tell ourselves that if price breaks this level to the upside and then bounces at that level we want to go long because that is most likely a continuation move of the higher time frame trend right so we have this resistance area marked out right here and what we're going to do now is we're going to wait for the breakout right so let's say price hits that level rejection and we want to wait for a confirmed breakout now let me show you what a confirmed breakout is right so in my opinion or according to my rules and system a confirmed breakout is when you have a four hour open and close above the level so this one right here this is the level and this candle right here that is the four hour open and close above the level so that is now a confirmed breakout why is this a confirmed breakout that's because it's not a four hour fake out right so if this candle right here would close down here that would obviously be a four hour fake out but because of the fact that we now have a four hour open and close that minimizes the risk of that being a fake out it can of course be a fake out on the higher time frames like the daily but that is why you want a rounded retest you want a rounded retest like this because you need you 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 need to give the market enough time to accept this level as support right so we've broken above it we've broken above the resistance level now you want to round the retest and you want some time and space between the retest and i mean between the breakout and the retest so that you're giving the market enough time to accept the level uh, as support and that is also not going to be a fake out on the daily if you have a rounded retest on the four hour it's more more likely to not be a fake out on the higher time frames which means the higher time frame players are going to watch this level as well it means that the level is vis visible on the higher time frame so you have both low time frame players and high time frame players about to potentially buy that support level if it bounces right now let's play forward right here so we want to we want to wait for price to give us a round retest right looking good breaking up further coming down that's a good good retest of that level right there right looks great now the breakout area right here this is the last immediate high prior to the breakout so that is a good breakout level if you want to front run this whole area right here i'd suggest placing some orders right here if you want the best possible entry i want to find the the middle point of this uh, SR level right here or this support and resistance area and the middle point kind of agrees nicely with price action here as well hits a lot of levels here and hits a lot you know a lot of low time frame levels and it goes straight through the middle of that area the best possible entry will most of the time be right somewhere right in the middle of this SR level right here which in this case, let's say it's right there, right? So price comes down, has a rounded retest of this 
breakout area right here now what you want to do is you have two options right I'm just gonna show you the option number one here because I'm gonna make a new video on you know confirming bounces and how to you know enter on a confirmed bounce that is another video where I'm gonna show you how to confirm a bounce that you know it's about you know four hour bullish and gold things and stuff like that and low time frame break and mock structure but like I said that comes in another video so make sure you subscribe to the channel and get ready for new releases anyway we want to go long here and the stop loss rules is uh, according to uh, my system is this right you want to have your stop loss below the last swing low right so the the swing low prior to the breakout the low of the move that broke the level so this is the low right here this is the breakout move so the swing low prior to the breakout is that low right there so you're not a good uh, got a good stop loss level right here have the stop loss below that level you kind of want to not not on the obvious level slightly below that run right here and then it comes to the take profit um you know they take profits what i like to use is the fibonacci tool and let me show you something right let me just show you something right look at that look at the confluence here with the reload zone and the breakout level look at that boom that's the touch that's the perfect entry now I'm going to make a whole new video and a, a lengthy video on exactly how I use the FIB tool and how to use the RLC. So that's something to look forward to. But just look at that beautiful confluence right there. Anyway, remember to subscribe to the, to the channel if you want to see that future video probably coming in a couple of days. Uh, anyway, so that is the touch. And you see how almost perfectly it touched that middle level right there. Now that is where you want to uh, focus your orders in the middle of this SR zone. But if you want to have, you know, if you want to... Um, want to be safe and get that they get that entry if this area gets front run you want to have your orders right above the area now when it comes to take profits i would recommend having a tp1 at somewhere around 1r and then move stops to entry 1r is here it's a bit tight i think it makes total sense to have you know tp1 at that high right there or even at the last highs right so usually i do the last highs but this one right here it's you know it's it's 1.3 up to this one so it kind of makes sense what i would do is take uh, tp1 here and then move stops to entry i would then take tp2 uh at that one right there or that high right there and then tp3 is going to be based on your average r and win rate like how big or like how big winners do you actually need with your win rate so you could either just put it at from my experience i would like to have my third third take profit should be somewhere here kind of front run that 4.6 uh, k level so that would be my third take profit and how would uh, how i would take the profits would be 25 here 25 here and 50 but again that is a new video the one i want to show you right here and the technique i want to show you in this video is the entry right so you wait for the breakout you then want a four hour open and close above the level that is when you're going to get interested in watching a rounded retest you get that rounded retest hits that entry area Move stop to entry at TP1, which should be around 1R. Stop loss is going to be below the last swing low prior to the move that broke the level. Now watch this. Right? This is so simple and it's extremely, extremely profitable and successful. I've been using this system for many, many years. It's my core and base system. It's actually the only way I'm trading the crypto market and the forex market and it's stupidly simple right guys don't remember to uh, don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the in the next one